Welcome to Fresh Meals. Tips and tricks for creating healthy school meals that burst with flavor. Learn from James Beard award-winning chef Jimmy Schmidt how to work magic with incredible, locally available fresh food. Fresh Meals is brought to you by Michigan Team Nutrition. Hi, this is Jimmy Schmidt here with Fresh Meals. Tips and tricks to enhance flavors for the food service professional. Today we're going to do another dish that everybody loves, quesadillas. And the quesadillas we're going to do are going to incorporate a lot of deeper, richer flavors beyond the simple just one cheese flavor in between some flour tortillas. So we're actually going to start off with, with a technique of roasting vegetables. In this case, we're using some green onions and some peppers and some onions and some garlic. And we're actually going to use some of our uh, secret uh, chili oil to season it up before going in to the foil wrapper. I love roasting vegetables. Roasting vegetables really pulls out all the natural flavors. It's really easy to do. It's a great way to capture what's at the best of the season with the least amount of work. You're not running around getting buckets of water and cooking things and blanching them. And you just seal them up very nicely in a foil pouch. It goes into the oven, 400 degrees for about 45 minutes or so. When it comes out, we just pulse it in a Cuisinart, which everybody knows how to do, and you end up with a lovely little salsa or in this case a little bit of a red pepper puree type situation which is great. You can do this with lots of vegetables whether it's cauliflower, broccoli, squash, anything like that and it's a good base as a vegetable to be added in that fresh flavor from the garden into your quesadillas. We've got a couple of different quesadillas here. We got a honey wheat. There's all different types of flavors being made out there due to the popularity of quesadillas and wraps and such and we also have a whole wheat one. These are uh, obviously carry a lot more fiber, a lot more flavor, and they're a great building foundation to work from. Then another element that naturally goes with the quesadilla is beans, legumes. Legumes, great source, uh, source of uh, protein and fiber. Uh, we'll have a whole class on how to you know, slowly roast them in the oven. Uh, today we chose to use some great black beans that we've actually cooked and they really make their whole you know, situation, their whole sauce component there and, and well seasoned up. But you can use pinos or red kidneys or uh, there's even a rattlesnake bean and some uh, navy beans which are kind of fun. So we're going to start off with, with uh, making a quesadilla. The first one we're going to do with some beans on it. Remember, lighter is better. If you're going to add any vegetables or such into the quesadilla, it's better that they're very tender. And I'll show you why. When we go and start adding the chicken or any of your protein that you decide to add into a quesadilla, you want to be able to have the mouth feel, the taste, the texture of the chicken coming through so it doesn't just turn into a, a homogenous type situation. By using lots of crunchy things on the inside, you end up with competing with the chicken and your protein value. Now this one we'll go ahead and, and top with some uh, cheddar cheese and take it in a more traditional form. And then finally, you know, you throw the top on it and you throw it in the oven and you bake it off and that's all there is to it. Now this uh, honey one we've got going over here, we're going to use a little bit of our red pepper puree. This is a great way to develop the, the palates of your customers to expose them to different flavors that they won't see right off the bat. Once again, we're going to use chicken, although you can use any type of protein source, or just cheeses and other legumes. One that works really good with red peppers is lentils, which are really small and delicate and very silky. And we're going to go with a, a Monterey Jack cheese in this side that's a little bit um, wider in flavor and lets the, the sweet red pepper flavor coming through. And finally, we'll top this up here with one of these honey wheat tortillas. So there's your quesadillas. Pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes. They come up very nicely. 
and you've got a showstopper with some great protein flavors, some great beans, legumes, and some great roasted vegetables. This is a great way to incorporate everything that's coming out of your school farm, your school garden, your local markets into some real familiar foods that they love. So for today, Jimmy Schmidt, fresh meals, this is our tip. Fresh Meals has been brought to you by Michigan Team Nutrition.